The adaptation is very important. Adaptation to what is there. Know what is in your mind a moment ago. Like a fighting is a constant adaptation in the present moment to see what is there and apply the best tool that you have. So if you're stepping already to striking, but you're using still the crabone, it will not work. You hit, you come there. You, he attack. If I want to use the crabone, I move back. But if I want to use the, uh, the striking, I go forward, pum pa. That, that is very important. What is there a moment ago is not there now. You gotta be in the present moment. That's meditation after I was doing the, the, the style that I was How use the meditation in martial arts? Many people say, oh, it's just because I look in the movies, the monk look good. Oh, that's nice. I want to be spiritual or oh, wow, it's good. There is a lot of meaningful things how to the martial arts and the meditation can go together. Because actually when you're fighting, you're using the mind all the time, the breath, the awareness. So the meditation is one of, I would say, a very good way to develop awareness. And that awareness to apply into whatever we do. Not just in fighting, but in life. After we will practice. Okay, again, huh? Footwork correct, huh? Yes. You don't need to do many things. Normally in fighting, you don't need to do many things. You need to do two or three things, but very effective. So if, if one technique works, attack on the leg. One technique works, bang. <laughs> Again, bang. You just stick with, stick with it, bang. No need to kick and it's good to try different things. But ultimately in fighting, is simplicity the key. When you ask a very good fighter, what is the, the key? What is the main thing that you use? You say, basics. Yeah. So you stay with the basics in practice over and over and over. Build the pressure. Release yourself and again, continue. Key to success. What is success? To know yourself better. Okay. Uh, in the head. Fine. Huh? What is going to come? Me. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you can, uh, again, attack. There. I know you, I know he's going to block with the stick, with the crab on. Boom. Bang. For example, again. Boom. Maybe I move there. <laughs> so you need to be able to see what, not use the counter. You need to also, feel when you're countering what he can defend with. It's just one level after the other, never ending. Always two steps ahead. As, as many as we can. Okay, so again, it's attack, block, knee. If, if he goes back, he, he's giving me power here. I get sensitivity, bang. And then what I do, boom, bang. So every time we feel it. No use one and two ultimate. No, the fighting is regaining balance on each situation. So every time that I feel an energy attack, I'm gonna knee, he put energy in me, he's gonna block in the knee, then I regain balance. And when he put power again, then I use turn over, then there. I just... Oh, what happened? You see? Again, same like him. Head. You want to knee, you far away. Why you knee? You, I cannot even front kick, he will stop me. You just strike, and then front him maybe punch. So be able to recognize what is there. Yeah. Do you see yourself? Yeah. Say, oh yeah, I'm in the it same distance of the crowd. Yes. Yeah. Yep, yes yeah. Still a little, okay, round kick, okay. Kick, kick, kick. Step behind. Ah. Okay.
you get stuck again. If you get stuck there, you get a feel. Push. That's it. Yeah. You get, you embrace the grappling coming. When you are blocking with footwork or without footwork, if the person attack, there are many different ways to deal with his attack. Okay. I want you to open your mind into what is happening. Many people think you attack, attack in the neck, I just put the stick there and that's it. But that totally is not true. There is a lot more to develop a higher level of fighting. And what I'm talking about is when the person blocking, the first thing, as we said, we control the distance, he's coming, and I'm going to move my crabon. The crabon is still protecting the center line, but the footwork make me away from the strike. The second thing I always try to choose when the person attack, following in the direction that the energy of the crabon is coming. In that case, if he's coming this way, I'm moving in that direction. If he's coming into the other way, I use moving into that direction. So I never go into attack that, unless I want to counter or I have something in my mind. But the main training is first stage, the person coming, I use follow, follow, follow the energy. And I was waiting. I don't want to open. If I open one door, the other one is coming. So we want to come in, attack, one, attack the second. You see here, there, whatever it comes, I want to be there, I don't want to be there. But I don't extend the crabon out, because if no, it's coming. Another very important concept. When he attack, slowly, I feel. It can be trained, the way to feel his weapon, how much pressure is pointing into me. And most of the time, I can manage to deal with the weight and the power of the crabon through my footwork in the right position. Why do I do that? Because when the person is coming in slowly and I feel his power, I'm going to use it against him. So ultimately, his power go against him. Because from the point of view that we're training is we don't want to harm anyone. But if someone comes to harm us, we can defend ourselves. So if someone is coming hard and move, then the person is coming and I hit. That's the philosophy of it. You come, ah. I block, normal. Yeah. And then I parry and you block. And then I hit again. Why? Because he give me power there. And then I hit again. And then he's coming there. Then he come in, yes, moving back. And then again come in. And then I try to find a way to use his energy and use it use his power so my crabon returning to him back. So to be able to train that sensitivity, we do one drill. For example, this one, you come, one, slowly, I let it go. Come in, in the, into the other side, I let it go. Huh? One, two, smooth, two. In the leg, in the leg, Three, roll it again one more time. Three, hit, four, I move. So I try to use the energy of him. If we can understand that, our level in the source of the carbon will, will improve. So we are not just blocking, rather we are filling. Now make the regular pattern, neck, neck, leg, leg, hip, hips. Then I'm filling, I'm filling, I'm filling, I'm filling. I'm hips, you see how I'm moving again. Head. You see how I'm, I'm coming out of the center line, and then when the person is coming, I use feel, feel. I don't want to become hard. If I become hard, he can use my energy to strike. You get the point? Okay. So that is the moment of contact. Again, please. In the moment before striking, in the moment before striking. This is something personal, but I would like to share. When I'm gonna fight with the person, I open my feeling and I want to feel him. What is there? Feel, trying to feel, try, try to open the energy within you 
to feel him, sometimes you can understand what he's going to do if he has very strong intention. And when he's going to do, you hit him. About the timing. Some people are very good at this. It is not, it is not something that it can be used all the time. Because very good fighters, they can hide their emotions. But if you become good at it, perhaps you can affect them. Or perhaps you can see what is going to happen. Or you feel what is going to happen. We will never know, but we can feel. So the feeling aspect is very important in our training. It's why sometimes we close the eyes and we train, we try to feel where the direction is coming, you know, etc. Okay, so I want you to put the mind when you're training and that the person attack, attack, not become hard. Absorb whatever is there. Not to the point that hit you, then you come in. Yeah, there. So this is how we practice the training. Touching and moving. Touching, absorbing, pairing, and using the energy of the opponent. That's what I mean. So we're gonna practice this. Chris is uh, attacking. One, Just to the neck. neck. One, two, three. Other side. Other side. One, two, three. I go to you. One, parry with the other two, and three. Again, one more time. I attack. One, you see? That's wrong. Too much extended. Attack. You come, you come into my stick. Remember, we don't go to the stick. The stick comes to us. And then when it comes to us and it's close, we deal as in fighting, expansion and compression. When the person attack and he expand, it's difficult for him to compress. The more the, that he expands, it's more difficult he, he come back. So that's the moment when I used to enter. So if, when I attack, you expand yourself in the block, it will expand more like a, yes. It will take you very long time to block another one. So the expansion and compression is very important. We must expand and compress all the time. If we not manage to learn this, our footwork is not going to be balanced. Our body, our breathing, we need to be able to expand, compress again, expand, compress. You expand all the time, expand, compress, expand, expand, compress. Blocking anytime, coming forward, backward. But if we are ready in the block, expand, maybe it's gap for the opponent opening. So again, I attack, no footwork now, you just relax. One, yes, again, one, you see, let, let touch you and let I carry you, then the strike come in. But if I touch the strike and the strike go forward, there is nothing carry, then I, I hit you. Understand, yeah? Yeah. So, please. Yes. Yes. No, too much resistance. I feel immediately too much resistance. Uh, attack. Yeah. Attack. Yes. Attack. Attack. I'm listening. You are. Again, I attack you. Yes. That one. Comprende, David? So fighting is not about smacking each other. It's about to learn about yourself and about the environment, how to interact, and um, to see the different possibilities that we can find in training, within ourselves. That is my perspective about martial arts. It is not related to winning anyone. It is related to developing attributes physically and mentally. Go! Fit, footwork, footwork, fix that, fix that, fix that, get out of the line.
Khan. Okay. So, about fighting. There are different kinds of training. Each training helps us with something. I attack you, you block, no footwork. I attack you, you block with footwork. You attack with footwork, you attack without footwork for reaction. But everything comes under one concept. You train, you pressure, you relax in that pressure, you grow. Your martial arts skill grow. You training, 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 there is no pressure, the growth is very little. You gotta press and relax your breath, relax your muscle. Sometimes you get hit, accept the pain, it's okay. We learn about fighting no one so we need to learn about how to endure the pain. If I hit you, bang, okay, use my head, okay, no problem. It's okay, it's not, no big deal. So when we learn about fighting, if we don't have that pain tolerance, it will not happen. If we don't have that pattern of breathing correctly and we tense, we are not gonna last much, even if you're very good. So there are different concepts to build within fighting. But ultimately, you learn fighting, you don't need to harm each other, but you need to pressure each other to the point that you can handle yourself well. Then you can understand that when you reach that point, you have the weapon is in you. Then change weapon. As you know in the school, we're not trying one weapon. We try in different situations, different weapons. Long, spear with the carbon, double sword, knife. And we train in Muay Thai, long Muay Thai for striking, pain taller dance, cardiovascular. Then we train in the chaya, very short in the street, especially elbow, knee for a short distance. For MMA, I recommend chaya. Why? Because it's very short and the elbows and the knees all the time protecting. The Muay Thai center of gravity, in the moment that the person take the person, it will go into the ground. The Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guy is always ready for you. So you gotta be able to learn the strengths and the weakness of each style that we practice and hopefully combine, trying them enough so you can come to understand what is happening. As many of the martial artists they teach for many, many years uh, one style, which is good. But the problem is sometimes we believe that our style fits everything, but it's not true. You think you have good Muay Thai? You think you can defend yourself? You are wrong. How wrong? I used to take the gun. I say, how do you Muay Thai work? Or the knife, or the sword. So if you really try to learn a system which integrates many different situations, many different conflicts in a different way, that is what we do here.